Oh, and by the way, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get this out there because I this this there, there's this one thing that just pisses me off to no end. I am, I gotta, I gotta tell you guys this. There has been a very strange phenomena. Hopefully, one day it's gonna die, but there has been this very strange phenomena that has lasted for decades of South American people or like Spanish speaking people who think they're Jews. I swear, this is a disease that needs to be eradicated. I remember years ago meeting this Puerto Rican lady and I said, and she had like the, a hair covering, but she was in a Catholic church. And I said, I, I didn't know who this woman was. And I said, Oh, you know, um, welcome. You know, how are you? What's your name? And she had a very thick accent. I said, where are you from? And she said, I'm from Puerto Rico. And I said, Oh, I said, Oh, and she said, yeah, I'm here for a wedding because there were people that were going to get married at this church. And I said, oh, okay, are you Catholic? And she said, no, I'm Jewish. Puerto Rican Jew? Okay, you know, I don't know. Maybe you're, I, maybe there are Puerto Rican Jews out there. I'm not entirely sure. So I said, um, I said, so, so. I said, so, oh, were you born Jewish? Are, are you like a part of an Israeli family or something? And you got and you got some Puerto Rican friends. I don't know. And she's like, uh, no, no. Uh, you know how the Puerto Ricans talk? They have that accent. You can tell a Puerto Rican though by by just by the accent. Like they're not Mexican. Those people are different. She's like, no, no. Um, uh, like uh, I got a. I, I found out my roots. I found out my roots. It's in my roots. In my blood. It's in my blood. I said, oh, you're in your blood. Oh, I see. So basically, your last name's Garcia. You googled Garcia in, in on the internet, and you found out that. You know, 800 years ago, there was some family in Spain with the Garcia name, and they were conversos. They were Jews who became Catholic, and you found this out. And now, all of a sudden, you're a Jew, and you're singing the Havla Liga Hava, and you got the Israeli flag in your hand, and you got a menorah, and you got a Star of David on your house, and you got a whatever, and you got, you're got you playing dreidel every Friday night or something like that. Oh, and you're following Shabbat, and you're doing the whole thing. So I said, oh, I said, so what, I said, so what, what convinced you to become Jewish? She said, oh, I found out my roots. It's like my roots, you know, like, like my last name, you know? I, I said, oh, oh, okay. So you became Jewish, not for any seriously theological reasons, but because of genetics. Is that what it is? Like you think you're, you got Jewish stuff in your blood. Is that what it is? No, no. Well, I mean, I read into it, you know, like, but like, I read about the connections. I read about the connections. So I said, so really, what convinced you to become a Jew is you did some Googling on the internet and then all of a sudden you started reading the Talmud. She's like, oh, no, well, I got to go. Okay, bye bye. Shalom. But there's so much of this bullshit that goes on, especially in Protestant churches. You see this. And it's not just in South America. I saw this bullshit when I was in Spain. I went to Spain and I met this Spanish guy. This dude was as white as salt. White, you looked 100% European, but he was crazy though. He was actually on psych meds. And I'm like, they're taking psych meds up here in Spain too? Everybody's crazy. But he was like, yeah, I'm a Jew. I'm a Jew. Yo soy, yo soy, yo soy un judeo. I'm, I, think, I think I'm a Jew. Oh, how do you know? And this guy's last name was Valero, by the, by the way. So the next time you see the Valero gas station, think of this guy. And he's like, oh, I'm a, I'm a Jew, I think. And I said, oh, how do you know that? Oh, I Googled my last name, Valero. Turns out there was some family in Spain that had this last name. It's like, oh. And you, and you have some people from Peru who are, who are as dark as chocolate out of a cocoa tree. And they're like, I am a Jew. And I'm like, you look like a, an actor from Apocalypto or from Dances with Wolves. What the hell is your, are you talking about? I am a Jew. <laughs> How do you know you're a Jew? I knew this one guy. His last name was Salvador. And he was he was from he was from he was from El Salvador, believe it or not. His wife was from Peru. And they became Jews. All of a sudden, I'm not even joking. They were born Catholic, then they got into Protestantism, then all of a sudden they started thinking they were Jews. They converted to Judaism, or they think they converted to Judaism, 
because the Jews, the real, like real Jews would never even accept these people. They'd laugh them off the synagogue. They'd laugh them out of the synagogue. They really would. They wouldn't, they wouldn't want anything to do with these people because they're an embarrassment. I wouldn't want anything to do with these people. I don't want anything to do with these people. I'm not even Jewish. But all of a sudden, like he was, you know, he was Catholic. And then all of a sudden he became Protestant. And he was a very cocky guy, too. He, I think he ran a tile installing company or something. He's like, I do the best work. You know, you know how Latin American dudes are. I do the best work. You know, I do fine work. You know, the tile, perfect, perfect tile. You know, the whole thing is perfect. All of a sudden, this dude's walking around with a yarmulke on the back of his head. He's got the talits, the white robes. He's walking out of there like he's a member of the Sanhedrin. And I'm sitting here like, one ticket to Israel, please? Like, what the hell? You want to get shot in Brooklyn or something? Like, what are you doing? Oh, I made a 360-degree turn. No, I made a 100 and I made a 360 degree turn. I have I move my life around so much. You got no idea. You got no idea, man. You got no idea, man. You know the Trinity? That's all fake by the Catholic. The Catholic Church made it up, man. It made it up. That's all that's all nonsense, man. That's trash, man. No. All that Catholic stuff, it's just idolatry, man. They're worshiping idols. Like when they're praying to Mary, they're worshiping that goddess Ishtar. But like I made a 180 degree turn. And this dude is walking around like a kid who wants to be Gandalf in the Lord of the Rings. And he's dressed up like a wizard. <laughs> he's dressed up like a wizard, this dude. And he's like, I'm a rabbi. I'm a rabbi. So Mr. Rabbi Salvador... And his Peruvian wife, who looks 100% indigenous, all of a sudden they're Jews. So I'm like, okay, so you think that the Catholic Church is all filled with idolatry. All right, Mr. Rabbi. Then why the hell did the Spanish, when they invaded Peru, destroy the Incan religion? And they started saying, but they killed the people here. They killed the indigenous people here. No, they didn't kill the indigenous people here because your wife is still alive. But they wanted to kill the people. They, I said the Incans did human sacrifice. What are you talking about? Cannibalism, human sacrifice, all these horrific things. Why did the Catholic Church get rid of this if you are, uh, if all of a sudden they're like for idolatry and paganism? They couldn't answer the question. Well, the Trinity is false. It's, it's idolatry. It's paganism. Really? Have you ever heard of Clement of Rome? Have you ever heard of Clement of Rome? He was a man who was a disciple of St. John himself, said that Jesus Christ is God. You guys don't know what you're talking about. But that's the problem. When you have people who are illiterate when it comes to the church fathers and basic church history, they will fall into anything. And that's the thing. Like When you cut off the source, when you cut yourself off from the main source, which is the church, the Catholic church, or the Orthodox church, and you don't have that ecclesiastical institution that's connected to ancient history, you're going to fall for all sorts of bullshit. It's like what Tertullian says. Tertullian said that the true church is like a beautiful olive tree. The olive is smooth and shiny. It's edible. And the heretical churches, they're a wild olive tree where the olives are fuzzy and inedible. But yes, that was my conversation with the wizard. But there's so much of this BS that goes on. I remember years ago, I met this lady. I think she was from Texas or California or something. She was this Mexican-American woman, and she was like, yeah, I'm a Jew. I think I had like relatives who were killed in the Inquisition. It's like, everybody wants to be a Jew. Everybody's like, why don't you be content with who you are? If you're born Jewish, okay, you're born Jewish. But if you ain't a Jew, if you're Mexican, Puerto Rican, French, Spanish, whatever, just be content with who you are. Like, who cares? It's insanity to me. It's complete insanity.